multiple city entities where the mayor of the city of New Orleans has significant control and they're slowly but surely going bye-bye. Not, not the NOPD, but already the city council has to approve the superintendent that the mayor would appoint. It would have been Woodfork. Instead, it's Ann Kirkpatrick because of that. So it already changed the landscape. Now you've got the sewage and water board on the way out as far as the mayor controlling it. The downtown development district, 11 board members, nine that the mayor appoints, she controls it. The legislature is going to reduce it to seven board members. The mayor will only appoint two. Loss of control there. And also today, we found out about a state bill that would limit Mayor LaToya Cantrell's power over public housing. Right now, the mayor selects all nine commissioners that oversees the Housing Authority of New Orleans. The bill would reduce the size of the board, give the council and, and another entity board members and any mayoral appointees would need city council approval. So lots of changes taking power away from the mayor, the executive branch of government in new Orleans and putting it elsewhere. And that's a good thing. Forget about mayor Latoya Cantrell for a minute. It's the mayor of the city of new Orleans, whoever it is too much power. And with a 40-year track record of failure, I welcome change. I'm scrutinizing Jeff Landry. I'm keeping an eye on Jeff Landry, but I welcome the change.